With the Tesla Model 3 being one of the most safest cars in the world, I wanted to see how well it would react when the autopilot feature was not enabled. So just driving around town to see what alerts I would get when I deliberately crossed over the road lines at various speeds. Now before I get into that, I wanted to explain what you get today when you buy a Tesla because quite frankly it has changed a lot since I bought my Model 3 back in 2018. So all Teslas, no matter what model you choose, will come standard with autopilot. And if you don't know what autopilot is, meaning the vehicle will brake, accelerate, and steer within its lane as long as the car can interpret the road lines. I actually had to pay for this feature after I took delivery of the car for $2,000, and that was just for autopilot. Currently today, if you want full self-driving, it costs an additional $7,000, and to be honest, full self-driving is not even available yet. I personally think it's at least one to two years away from being fully autonomous, but if you were to purchase it today, you would lock in that price for $7,000 rather than paying a higher price in the future as Tesla continues to increase the price as the car gets better with over-the-air software updates, which are always free by the way. Depending on your driving distance, this package may be a benefit for you, but for me personally, dropping $7,000 on a software update seems too steep for the current state of the full self-driving package. Anyways, my point of this video is to show that the car will still react even though the autopilot feature is not enabled. With people consistently on their phones, distracted driving, as we all know, is a big cause of accidents. It's nice to know that all Teslas will continue to have those extra set of eyes while watching the road for you to help assist should there be an issue of a possible collision. I personally have had a couple instances where the car automatically braked for me due to a close rear end collision with another car. I've also had an instance where I did not see another vehicle in my blind spot while merging into another lane, but the Tesla saw it on its side camera and the car literally turned the wheel out of my hands to avoid collision with the other car. This was Tesla's lane departure avoidance feature, which I'll show later in the video. I'm still surprised that this vehicle has this much intelligence and continues to get better with every free software update. Unfortunately, I did not capture these moments on camera, but it's nice to know that these safety features are included with every Tesla. So here we are driving downtown Durham, North Carolina. There's lots of one-ways, lots of stoplights, and plenty of curvy roads. So I don't think this autopilot system will work too well uh, in the, under these conditions. You can see I had a brake for this UPS truck here and drive around it. If it was on full self-driving, I don't know how it would react to that. It'd probably just wait behind that UPS truck the entire time until it left. You can see I had to veer around that bus. I don't know how full self-driving would see that stoplight because it was behind that bridge there. So again, I think it's well one to two years away from the full autonomous driving package here we're going to continue to drive down the road and then go onto the highway here I have to manually again drive onto the highway I do not have full self-driving so as you can see here coming up I'm going to deliberately try to veer to the right so the car will take over for me and turn left back into its lane to avoid going off the road here see that line illuminated on the screen it's telling me hey you're about to cross over the line take control and the wheel automatically turn left for me to avoid going off road so now we're going through construction zone it's a very narrow street I'm still not on autopilot here's another test veer to the right the wheel automatically turned to the left for me to avoid collision we're gonna continue to try this again Notice how the wheel, if you look in the bottom of your screen, turn left to go back onto the road. And we're going to exit this highway here, and I'm going to go on to a smaller side street, and again, deliberately try to go left and right. See the wheel there turn to the right, and I'm going to go to the right again. Oh, it sees that line, it's turning now to the left. So again, this is part of the uh, auto lane departure avoidance system that comes standard with every Tesla. So here's a visual of all the safety features, regardless if you're driving in autopilot or not. Uh, here's the emergency lane departure avoidance, which is what I tried earlier today. It's just telling you it will not apply corrective steering when it's drifted out of its lane. I don't know why you would disable that. I'm just going to leave it on. It shows you blind spot collision warning chimes, 
automatic emergency braking, which applies the brakes even when a collision is detected. Again, I always leave these on and uh, enable at all times. We also have obstacle aware acceleration. We'll click on that icon here. It's just telling you it limits your acceleration if an obstacle is detected in front of your vehicle while driving at low speeds. The blind spot collision warning. You'll hear a chime when a potential collision is detected when you're leaving its lane. For the forward collision warning, I like to leave mine on late because it seems like the car still reacts within a reasonable time to hit the brakes if it needs to. And here's the lane departure avoidance, meaning the wheel will automatically take control for you to avoid drifting out of its lane. I always leave it on assist just for my own safety. If you want to turn that off, however, you can go to a warning and the screen will illuminate like you saw earlier. The lines will turn blue. Uh, for me, what happens a lot is if I don't hit the blinker left or right, the car will think I'm veering out of its lane and it will automatically try to steer back into its lane. So if you don't turn your blinker on, it's going to automatically assist uh, you to go back into its lane. So you can have it on warning, which a lot of people do. I like to leave it on assist. And then here we have the cruise follow distance when you're an autopilot. Um, I personally like the cruise distance set to one. However, if you want a bigger gap in between all the vehicles, you can see here we can set it to a distance of three or whatever ch choice you'd like. One works pretty darn well for me. So these are some of the settings uh, under the autopilot menu that you can choose from. With all of these added safety features, it is nice to know that the car was always looking out for you, regardless if you are driving in autopilot or not. Keep in mind that Tesla is always adding new safety features to the car with software updates. So unlike a regular car that gets no software updates, as we all know, you have to purchase an entirely new car for updated features. Tesla has literally created a cell phone on wheels. So if you found this video informative, consider subscribing and smashing that like button if you could. It really helps me out. Let me know in the comments what you think of these safety features. Until the next video, guys, stay safe.